All right, we're on. Um, now I'm gonna I'm gonna show you real quick here in, a, in about 20 minutes um, that I've got to take at one o'clock and it's 12. Can not see the entire November 2nd here in, uh, in 2018? And <clears throat> oh my gosh, look at those scary equations right there. Those are in the air, or any of these people are in the air because you've done all the hard work. We just need this guy right here. So let me show you what that looks like. All right. Uh, so I come to my trusty ladybug here, and here's what we've got. Look at this. So we've got V final equals V initial minus G times T. Say what? Well, we know that G is equal to 9.8 meters per second squared, and in the previous in in the in the first problem we calculate uh, or in, i think it was question 3 we calculated that the initial velocity of will we got that from square root of 2gh right of when he took off now if he's going all the way up and all the way down we need to get the time not only of going up but all the way down so what goes up if we're neglecting air resistance and everything else, guess what? His final velocity is equal to the magnitude of the initial velocity. But the initial velocity was positive. But the final velocity is going to be negative, square root of gh. Okay? Now let's watch the algebra of what happens here. If I take v final as negative, um, uh, square root of 2gh, okay, and this is equal to, and that is equal to the positive square root of 2gh. I've never done it this way before. It just kind of evolved. Minus 9.8 times t. Now, why is it, why is it minus 9.8 times the acceleration? Because the acceleration is always pointing down. But look at what happens. If I add this blob or subtract this blob from both sides, look, it's beautiful. Subtract this, so this positive, so this goes away on this side of the equation. Uh-oh, some of you are already going, oh my God, I remember this. We had to do things on both sides, but it's real simple. It, 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 I mean, don't, don't be afraid of it because we're just, whatever we do on this side, we have to do to this side. So if we're going to subtract minus 2gh from this side, we have to subtract minus 2gh from this side. So we'll subtract it from this side over here. We'll, we'll just make it negative over here, 2gh, minus 2gh. How many minus 2ghs do I have there? I got two of them. Minus 2 square root of 2gh is equal to negative 9.8t. Hey! Can I multiply both sides by negative one? Or if we just if we're used to doing this kind of stuff, can I just do this? Yes, I can. So I wind up with two times the square root of two gh. And you'll have already had this number. You'll have already solved. This will already be solved by the time you're ready for it. It is equal to 9.8 times t. So if I want to get t by itself, what do I do? I've got multiplication. To undo multiplication, what do we do? We divide. 9.8 divided by 9.8, and that will give us our hang time. All right. That's how long they were completely in the air. And I'll bet a dollar to a donut, it's less than a second, even for Wilt the Stilt at 48-inch vertical leap. Okay? So we'll compute that.